Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 and of course I'm back over here again in the last episode you would have seen me work on this if you didn't go and check that video it was a fun one to record we've got the interior done and everything and today's episode is gonna be a a sort of part two, a sort of special episode. I'm going to try and get myself some questions by you guys and answer them in today's video over a time lapse of me basically finishing this thing off. Now it probably won't, you know, be the whole video, but I don't know about you guys, but I love a time lapse. I personally like watching them. I know that not all of you guys do, but hopefully you can sit back and relax. You know, you don't have to watch the time lapse. I guess you can just listen to the the answers perhaps and I personally don't actually get a chance to do them all that often because I've been working on war stuff and what have you so uh, yeah I haven't really done it very much but yeah anyway we've got spoilers in here of course the stuff we did last episode and of course if you guys didn't see it we have this big gigantic hole down here that we are going to be mirroring the base in now, uh, I guess I need to do a bit of preparation. I think what I'm going to do before we start the time lapse is probably get rid of all of this, make it all glass. I say that. I mean, I wish that ladder came up inside. I didn't quite put the ladder in the right place, but at least, at least, at least I can actually access the ladder. But what I'm probably going to do is get rid of this, um, and I was going to say put, put glass in, but actually, you know what? I'm not sure how, where I want the glass. I think if I put it here, obviously with mirrors, that would be that would be in the next block down. I think this block here would be the next block down if this was glass, and then it wouldn't be that low. And obviously, I dug out quite quite a significant length there. You can see that the end of that stone brick there is probably where I imagined the root the roof would be the the highest point would then also be the lowest point of course so uh, I do actually want to put a little bit extra I want to like basically get all of these blocks that are around on this lower level on the walls and take them down at least like four or five blocks and have the mirror glass start in the very very center of those so we've got a little bit of a depth so we can look down and if we stand on the glass here we'll be able to sort of see stuff and that is going to be the plan. Although I say stand here, if the glass is five blocks lower, it's going to be a problem. I guess we could add ladders, uh, an emergency ladder to get out if you fall in here. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I just think if we can just make the stuff look good, we can decide what to do with it afterwards. Yeah, I think this is going to be quite a fun project. So guys, uh, it's about time. Let's go ahead and roll the time lapse and answer some of you guys' questions. Okay, so I've opened up the uh, little screenshots that I've taken of various questions from you guys and I'm just going to read the question out and then answer it the best I can, give you guys a bit more of an idea about myself, uh, social media questions, just a whole bunch of random stuff basically that you guys wanted to know and a lot of these I've had previously so, you know, if there's one that you have heard before then I apologise but a lot of them are fairly different and I don't remember you know, going too in depth in them uh, previously. So hopefully I cover sort of all bases here. But um, the first question comes from Andrew Phillips, uh, who asked, what age did you start recording YouTube videos? Now I had to actually look this up myself because I wasn't actually sure, but I looked it up and it says that my first video on my channel, uh, that's a Minecraft Let's Play, uh, was posted seven years ago. So uh, I, I, I would have been about 20. Uh, I'm 27 now, obviously, so, uh, so yeah, that makes me about 20 years old. Um, but it was sort of uh, a couple years before that that I really sort of decided that YouTube was something I wanted to try out. I wasn't quite sure for a year or two what I wanted to do, didn't have the stuff for it. But yeah, seven years ago I sort of took the plunge, tried recording Minecraft, didn't go very well. I was recording on a potato, pretty much, of a laptop uh, that doesn't exist anymore. Don't even know if I still have that thing. And um, yeah, basically it was ridiculous. Um, you'll probably see that stuff in my reacting to my old videos video, which I'll try and link below or in the top corner somewhere. So we've got another question from D Berg, who says, how did you get so good at PvP? What advice do you have for getting better at it? Now, I haven't really done anything majorly PvP in a long, long while. Uh, UHC wise, I guess, would be the, I don't know, maybe a year ago I did PvP properly. Um, but it's been really, really a long while. Uh, honestly, it just took practice, same as anything. Um, 
just take takes practice. You need to just try it out. Play um, like a game like Bed Wars over and over again, or Hunger Games, or whatever. Uh, for me, I played a lot of Hunger Games back in the day. I also played a lot of Speed UHC a couple years ago, and I would do that pretty much nearly every live stream. So um, I, I would basically play PvP a lot. So I think that's why I got a little bit better at it. And I don't know, the same as anything, pretty much anything in life. If you want to get better at it, practice. Uh, we've got another question from Textbook Scammer who says, Are you excited for 1.14? I am! But uh, there is actually something about 1.14 that I'm sure you guys have heard me say. I see there's an awful lot. People ask me all the time about new updates, how I feel about them. I don't really play them. In fact, I haven't actually even logged on to a 1.14 world uh, until it's uh, up on Hermitcraft or anything that I'm playing. Um, so yeah, I don't play 1.14 until it's up and ready. And I rarely keep up with the update videos that go into detail about everything, like I know there's campfires, I know that there are other stuff, uh, there's other basic stuff, you know, new blocks, stuff like that, but ultimately, like, I haven't really, I don't research it, if it comes up on my Twitter I see it, but if, if I don't, then, you know, I'm not looking for information, so I like to play it as a bit of a surprise, it sort of takes me back to when I used to play Minecraft for the first time and sort of was learning things as I go, and I feel like knowing too much about 1.14 till I'm actually playing it actively on Hermitcraft, Feels like a bit spoilerish for me and I like the, the surprise. Yours Nax uh, says, what is your favorite animal? Uh, foxes. Foxes are my favorite animal. And I know before the comments, you're gonna be like, what did the fox say? I know, I know I get that comment every time I answer with the word fox. They're like, oh, but what did it say? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, but yeah, foxes. Um, I guess my favorite animals used to be like dolphins and elephants. They, they were pretty cool, but um, I don't know, just in the last few years, I, foxes have sort of taken over that role and yeah i don't know I, I think they're adorable and um yeah they're my favorite animal so john has a question favorite game other than minecraft um this is a difficult one i don't really have a favorite game minecraft would be the top uh, favorite game but other than that it feels i feel like there is, like i don't have an order from one to ten uh, of favorite games but some of the games i've played in the recent sort of uh, last couple of years that i've really enjoyed i've really enjoyed subnautica I know there's a new one, I'm going to be playing that on Twitch when it's sort of a bit more stable. Uh, I really enjoyed The Abelians when that came out, uh, that was fun. Um, or in the Blind Forest, really enjoyed that, we'll be definitely playing the, the second one of those on my, my streams as well. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, Kingdom New Lands is a really nice sort of just chill game where you can sit back and relax. Uh, Life is Strange, uh, I really enjoyed the story in that, again something I live streamed and really uh, I don't know, really got into the story uh, line of the first game, and I don't know man, I don't really have a favourite game, but I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions for games I should check out that are similar to those, or you think I would like, let me know in the comments below. Spidey says, I know some people have left Hermitcraft and decided to take other paths, what makes you stick around? What things about Hermitcraft really appeal to you? Now, this question I guess is quite difficult for a lot of you guys to sort of understand, I guess? Um, because I get it quite a lot. People sort of are confused as to how I can play Minecraft for so long and just be, you know, really into like Minecraft and, and, and playing multiplayer. Uh, you, I think really you've got to look back to where I sort of started playing Minecraft. Or not started, because I obviously played uh, single player as everyone does um, Minecraft when I first found it. But as soon as I found that there was multiplayer servers and found a few to play on, uh, that's all I ever played on. Like, I've played on... Um, a server that was owned by someone at Machinima, I played on a server, uh, a fan server for, for a YouTuber or something, and then I think I moved over to like, uh, maybe Geomine was next, which was the server that I met um, Azuma on, he invited me uh, via YouTube actually, funnily enough, he found my videos and invited me to play on there, um, and then after that it was Hypercraft, uh, or Hypermine, and and then from there Hermitcraft. So I've literally for for the last like however many however long like seven years or so I've pretty much played multiplayer mostly. So I'd, I rarely have very many single player worlds that I still have. In fact, I don't, I don't think I have any single player worlds that I've really properly played um, because sort of my build style and my confidence in playing Minecraft and building bigger and bigger things um, has grown as I've played multiplayer. So single player. Yeah, for me, it was never it was never really there. I mean, it would be if uh, I didn't have Hermitcraft, I'd probably be playing single player and doing the same crazy stuff as I, I, I do on there. But yeah, 
uh, multiplayer is something I just, I don't know, I just, I really like. I can't really tell you what, I, what appeals to me about it, but I guess seeing other people build cool stuff, being inspired by them, they're really cool people, I, you know. It's just all of that good stuff. Sonic Mila says, if you could choose one hostile mob to be a pa your partner in a buddy cop movie, which one would it be? Now, I actually had a quick little think about this and I like, can almost guarantee it'd be an Enderman. I feel like they would be like the coolest um, partner in a buddy cop movie. Uh, wait, uh, buddy cop movie, is that an actual movie? I'm gonna have to Google that real quick. So I did think so, but I didn't realize it actually the genre had a name called called Buddy Cop Movie. I didn't realize that was the genre name. Uh, but yeah, things like 21 Jump Street, um, Men in Black, I guess, counts as that, like Hot Fuzz. Any any sort of where there's two cops um, in a movie or like a, a small group of cops um, as like, I guess, the main characters of the movie is called a Buddy Cop Movie. I've learned something new. But yeah, I guess uh, Enderman would be my choice personally. I think that that would be a lot of fun. Lotshi uh, asks, how many hours in your day do you spend playing Minecraft? I'll be honest, I don't really count because that would actually be quite difficult because I procrastinate a lot or get distracted by other things and there's a lot of sort of admin, like behind the scenes stuff, um, like editing the videos, uploading the videos, doing the thumbnails, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so I, I don't know, I've never really sort of counted, but let's just say a, a lot. I spent too many hours in the day playing Minecraft probably but I do have the excuse as um, it is my job. So in a way, uh, it sort of works out. It sort of works out. But yeah, too too many hours in the day playing Minecraft for sure. But I, I do enjoy it, so can't complain. Carfissus, um asks, how did you join Hermitcraft? Um, I was invited back in the middle of season two by Azuma um, on, I, I wanna say Skype or somewhere. I don't actually know what we were using at the time. And he was like, do you want to join Hammercraft uh, to myself and Zuljin? He asked Zuljin at the same time. And yeah, and, and then here we are. Or, well, here I am. Zuljin, I guess, doesn't play Hammercraft anymore. But um, but yeah, so uh, the same thing that happens with pretty much everyone on Hammercraft, though. The group comes together and they decide on people, yes or no. Um, and it's a group decision. So I guess it was also a group decision when I was put up to uh, to join. So... Yeah, that was how I joined. Mike has a question. If you were not a YouTuber, what would you be? Um, this is something I've already touched on previously. Uh, before YouTube really kicked off for me, I was doing a, a degree in graphic design. So I would assume, seeing as I got that degree in graphic design I've been doing for a, a while now, um, I guess it would be that. Uh, I guess my aim was to be an illustrator, but I was never sort of putting the time into drawing, so I can't really draw. But um, graphic designer in some way, I, I would assume. So Tom has the question, what's your favorite build from all the seasons and why is it your favorite? I'm gonna assume you're asking me about my own builds. It you might mean everybody's builds, but for me, <laughs> It's difficult enough to remember all of the builds I've ever done, let alone other people's, so I, I, I would find it very difficult to think back to everybody's builds. Generally, I think the community areas are my favourites, though, where everyone sort of comes together, because it's nice, because then you can sort of see that it's a server, like, cause I feel like sometimes when you look at one person's base in particular, it feels like, you know, that's just, well, it usually is just them, right? So I don't know, community areas are definitely uh, favourites of mine, but um, I can't think of anything in particular that stood out. I mean, this season, it, I really like Scar's area, the, the whole like pirate themed stuff. I think that's my favourite just because it's so like detailed and that is something that generally pleases me. But um, everyone's so great at building, it's <laughs> super, super hard to choose. Uh, with my own builds, the one that always, like when I go back to remember you know, builds I've done um, in seasons. My favorite probably would be the nether project in season three where I made a nether airport. Um, one of my favorite builds ever, just, it was just a, like a, almost a season wide build. I just added shops, added like waiting areas and other things related to airports in the nether, this big long path. Uh, you know, I could see ghasts flying around. It just worked so well. I really, really interesting. would enjoy just walking through it. I had a little underground uh, minecart system or under under the pathway minecart system. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I really, really like the style of it. It's basic, it just worked really, really well. It had a blaze farm, I think the impulse built in it. I don't know. I, that's just one thing always I remember 
the overworld stuff I didn't like as much in that season. I, I built a sandstone hotel I, I'm still not a big fan of, so I guess that season sort of uh, balanced itself out. But yeah, for me, the, my airport build probably would be one of my, fa my own favourites. So Cubfan himself uh, has a question. What's your favourite Hermitcraft moment? So I've, I really had to think about this a lot, and I'm pretty sure there are many, many moments I've forgotten about or aren't in the forefront of my mind. Uh, there have been so many favourite Hermitcraft moments. Uh, pretty much all of them include other people. So anything collaboratory, uh, is collaboratory a word? Anything that's a collab uh, episode, I guess, um, are like my favourites. Uh, one that I think I always hear Azuma mention is the, the water situation. That was back in, I think, season three. Um, you guys know what I mean when I say the water situation, when I accidentally nearly drowned pretty much all the hermits. Oopsie. Uh, that was fun. Um, just, yeah, so that's like beginning of the seasons when we're all together, all traveling somewhere. That's always a fun, a fun time. Um, the 64 wither fight we did, uh, back, I think, in person. Tango and maybe Python and Azuma were there. I think maybe that was us us five. And just those times in general when I'm sort of just hanging out with the other hermits, I think, are, are pretty fun. And the war stuff at the moment that's going on at the moment. That's been a lot of fun when we all get together too. So I think those, those are the times that stand out to me. And I'm sure there's a load that I've completely forgotten. If you guys have any favourites uh, of mine, um, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. So another question from 715 Music who asks, how exactly do you plan an episode? Do you follow a, some kind of a longer master plan that covers several several episodes or do you decide spontaneously? How much time do you invest in making it of an episode from planning to uploading? This is quite a long question, but I'll try and get it um, as accurate as possible. Um, so for me, planning an episode, it literally varies episode to episode. Um, my base at the moment, I'm sort of a little bit ahead with planning. I sort of write myself lists of like projects I want to do um, in that area. So f at the moment, I've got like Clock Tower, uh, District Station, um, which obviously I'm building in this episode. Um, you know, in various houses, the guard house, the station house, the garden. You know, I have like a list of things that I'd like to build. And yeah, I wait until basically I'm inspired to do said thing. So I, I don't really have a master plan as such, but I do like to every time you know an idea comes to me, I'll try and write it down and make a note of it. Uh, but you know, a lot of things don't happen that are written down. So <laughs> it's sort of my plan doesn't really work as such. I, I sort of chop and change it as I go because I just get inspired by random things throughout the season. And uh, like I've got a waterfall in my base at the moment that goes all the way down to the ravine with Ren. Uh, that I'm working on with Ren, and like I wouldn't have thought about that like at the beginning of the season at all Like I wouldn't have thought to put that waterfall there, but now I can't really see that place without it So it's quite spontaneous. I never ever ever plan out everything before the season begins or as the season begins at all It, it very much is a I build on the stuff I've already made and uh, get inspired as I go uh, And how much time do you invest in making of an episode? So episodes literally again vary depending on what I'm doing uh, usually in within hours. It's definitely hours. It's definitely probably four or more hours per episode and then uh, Editing it's probably about the length of however much I've recorded. So let's say like 30 minutes doubled. So maybe an hour uh, Maybe more depending on you know what if it's got music time lapses anything like that in it And then uploading for me takes about an hour Which is why I don't like to record and upload the same day because that then sort of eats into my live streaming time uh, by the time I finish the video. And yeah, I don't know. It, it varies, but a few hours <laughs> basically per video, uh, which is why I don't like to do multiple videos per day. Because again, that eats into any live stream time or any sort of downtime I have in the evenings. Hopefully that answers your question uh, fairly well. And there we have it guys, the mirror is done. Let's get a full uh, view of this as we walk in, you can see. Got the mirror. Ooh, it's spooky. But it's even spooky when you come down here and you look at it. It's very, very spooky. Everything is like literally, I think. I want to say 100% accurate. I haven't added those because they're not really that necessary. I probably will at some point when I feel like it. But, I mean, this center area, you can tell that is mirrored 100%. <laughs> 
But, uh, you know, yeah, like here, like these. I don't know. I really like mirrors. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know uh, down below. But yeah, I've done it pretty much uh, exactly how I wanted it to be. I was worried that there was uh, an error with where I placed the roof. When I started doing these bits up here, I was like, that's not correct. But I, I think it pretty much is. I've just realized those stairs there are wrong. But that's okay. We can definitely tweak those. In fact, let's just pop on down just through here and tweak them while I remember. I don't know what was above them though, and I've also just lost them. No, you know what? Actually, I think that they are correct. I don't know why I thought they were wrong. Ignore me. I'm being picky now. This is me being just, <laughs> just very picky about the whole scenario. Uh, and of course, I don't have anything to get myself out of here again. I guess I might be able to firework rocket out of there. Pro maybe. Oh, almost. My aim was a bit off. <laughs> and my fireworks are a bit off because, uh, well, actually, you know what? I can get out of here. Whoa, there you go. Uh, I just don't have enough ender bones on me. The, only, the one thing I always, always, always run out of absolutely every time ender pearls. Uh, I should probably carry like a shock box full around in my ender chest. That would be probably be a good idea. I should probably do that. Anyway, uh, you can tell that I did add some lighting down there. I might get rid of it again because the roof is quite dark up here and obviously quite bright down there so I might actually remove those under the carpets um, I put down there I uh, haven't decided yet but overall I mean there's no point to do anything with tracks because you can't see it in fact anything that I did underneath there you can't see I did it just in case because it was only a few blocks but you know currently see it I don't know what to do outside I might put black wool um, or even blue wool. Actually, the <laughs> club that was really handy. I can now look at it and see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if I can get anything that sort of shade of blue in Minecraft. So maybe black's gonna just work. Or maybe I'll just leave it stone. It looks like there's sort of like a darkness through there, but... I don't know, you keep seeing granite and other things like that through there. So I don't know how picky I want to get with it. I've already got very, very picky with it. So I don't know, I guess it's up to you guys in the comments below. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Q&A episode. It was a little bit different, I recorded this bit just uh, whilst I was listening to music and stuff, the time lapses. And then um, I just dubbed the uh, Q&A uh, stuff over it so I could, you know, mix that and change that and answer questions without having to sort of concentrate on building. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you'd like to ask more questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I will try and answer some of those in a future episode, maybe a vlog type episode, I'm not really sure, whatever you guys prefer, and um, yeah, I don't know, I had a lot of fun today, I do want to add some of those flowers in front of this, but uh, for now I'm actually going to close this up, make it uh, pretty much so that people can't come in here, um, and at some point I will finish off these end bits as well, don't worry, <laughs> and you can get under here with a minecart, which is why that doesn't really matter too much. But that is like that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited by this project. I think it looks really cool. Oh, wow, that's, that's a bit trippy, isn't it? <laughs> Saying that, did I... Did I... Miss? No, I didn't miss. I think it's just underneath... Yeah, it's the other side of that, isn't it? Yeah. See, I keep thinking I'm missing things. I'm not. I'm being I'm being silly now. Right, let's stop staring at that mirror thinking I've done things wrong. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.